Hey there, it's your gamer friend Petey, and here we are in Magic 2014 Duels of the Planeswalkers. Two of my subscribers messaged me to let me know it was going on sale yesterday, and um, I was kind of hesitant because I know how serious you guys take strategy and things like this, so you're going to have to help me because if you think I'm bad at scrolls, I'm probably 10,000 times worse at Magic. So, um... <coughs> I don't need any of that. That's an ad. <laughs> okay. So, I think there was like, okay, campaign, seal play. I, I don't know what any of this is. Um, I skipped a tutorial so I could get into the settings so I could adjust the volumes and the, and the sound effects and things like that. And tutorial. Okay, good. We're in the tutorial. So, um, I'm just going to start. I have no idea what to do. So you're just going to have to forgive me and uh, be patient. Feel free to skip this episode if you know how to play Magic, but I don't. So here we go. Build your deck, challenge the world. You are a Planeswalker, one of the elite spellcasters of the multiverse. Continue. During duels, you will face fearsome enemies, sometimes other Planeswalkers, to battle for power and glory. You each start with 20 life. The first player to reduce the opponent's life total to zero is the winner. There's life, okay. So far, so good. Your library is the deck of cards containing all the spells, creatures, and resources you'll need to defeat your opponent. You begin the game with a hand of seven cards. Use the mouse to select a card in your hand. Use the mouse wheel to zoom in on the selected card. Oh crap. Okay, there. More info. What does that mean? This card can be affected by anything that types creatures or creature types. Also permanent. Well, okay. Um, zoom out. On your opponent's first turn, he plays a land. Once on the battlefield, lands provide the mana needed to cast spells. Okay, my first comparison. Okay, a crazed goblin, all right. Your opponent uses that land to summon a creature onto the battlefield. Crazed goblin costs one red mana to cast, so your opponent needed just one mountain to cast it. Mm -hmm. This is a forest. All you right. can play one okay. land on each of your turns. Play a forest now. Can I play that? No. So I play a forest. Oh, he's doing combat or whatever. Crazed okay. Goblin attacks. Because you have no creatures, you're unable to block. Crazed Goblin has one power, so it deals one damage in combat. You lose one life. Now, I realize this is supposed to mimic, like, a real-life playing situation, but one thing I do like about scrolls is that I can see my opponent's cards. I mean, I mean, I guess... The more lands you know. have on the battlefield, the more powerful spells you'll be able to cast. Alright, so we put another land out, and Your now I can put this guy out. give you access to two green mana. Use the mouse wheel to zoom in on Runeclaw Bear. Runeclaw Bear requires one green mana and one mana of any type to cast. Click on Runeclaw Bear to cast it. When you use mana from lands, those lands become tapped and can't be used again until your next turn. A creature can't attack the first turn you summon it to the battlefield. This is often called summoning sickness. The creature will be able to block if you're attacked.
Okay, so he's going to attack again, but I guess my bear will attack. Uh, block Cruised him. Goblin attacks. Because Rune Claw Bear is untapped, you can choose to block with it. Click Rune Claw Bear to select it. Then click Crazed Goblin to block it. Then click Block to finalize your choice. Crazed Goblin has one power, so it deals one damage to Rune Claw Bear. Rune Claw Bear has two power, so it deals two damage to Crazed Goblin at the same time. Crazed Goblin has only one toughness, so two damage is enough to destroy it. Rune Claw Bear has two toughness and takes only one damage, so it survives the combat and remains on the battlefield. As the turn ends, all damage dealt to creatures wears off. You can press H to request a hint. These hints may advise you about which spells to cast, which creatures to attack with, and more. Request a hint now by pressing H. H, play forest, okay. Centaur. Oh, I forgot to zoom it in. <laughs> um, the centaurs are free, blah, blah, blah. Three out of three, okay. Zoom out. Runeclaw Bear no longer has summoning sickness and can now attack your opponent. Click on Runeclaw Bear to attack with it. So we click attack. Rock Cyclops, two power. What is the three of three? Is that what it costs to summon? Okay, he's got two attack power and he's got three hearts. Is that what that means? Yeah, I guess that's what it means. Cause or no, it costs. Okay, he, no, he's got three hearts and three attack, but it costs him two resources to get summoned. Right? Yeah. You can cast any number of spells each turn. Mm -hmm. So we want to put a land out, right? And then let's see. Tusker, 3-3. Three, three. Runeclaw, 2-2. Two, two. I guess it's probably going to say that guy, right? Okay. Oh, we can play both of them. Oh, okay. You can attack with any number of creatures each combat. So we want to attack with all. Does that mean I can't block though? Well, I guess we'll find out. Oh, okay. He killed me. I should have had this. Hmm. You can block a single attacker with any number of creatures. Your opponent will divide the attacker's damage among its blockers. Why does it say skip blocking? Skip blocking? That was that my only choice? Hmm. I'm sorry, I'm sure you guys are really impatient with me. It doesn't make any sense to me though. Um, okay, so let's see, what do I need to get this guy up? Six land and I have four, all right. Um, can I attack this guy? Or no, I just attack with all, I guess, right?
Moonbreaker Giant. 4-4, four, four. all right. One, two, three, four, five, so I can play block. Okay, this guy's doing 3-3. Three, three. Did I miss my chance to block? I guess so. My turn. What does this guy do? Alpha Tyrannix. I think I can play him now, can I? Enormous Baloth. One, two, three, four, five, six. I should be able to play him now. Oh no. No, he takes six. I should be why can't I play him? Doesn't want me to. H. Cast okay, fine. I wanna I wanted to cast the other guy. Attack. Attack with all, right? Okay, so he killed my Tusker. And he survived. Put out a dragon. Continue. Sorry. I guess he's got haste. Is that what that said? Flying haste. I don't know if that means he can attack this turn. So I guess I want to block. Let's see. Block. Block him. And block him. Okay, they, they're tapped, so let's see. Block. It says skip blocking. I, I don't, I, I want to block. But I, 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 it won't let me. So I guess I have to skip blocking. <sighs> Tutorials. I guess because I can kill him next round. Is that the point? Okay, so we play a forest, right? And we play this guy. Fruits and plants, blah 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 blah. Okay. So now I attack with all. And I'm guessing that's it, right? Did I just win? Negative one. I should have won, right? Negative three. Mm -hmm. PD wins. Wow. <laughs> okay, well. Tutorials. Awesome. Super exciting. Uh, I guess I think we're going to go and do the next one next time. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry I'm such a doofus. Maybe I should play these off camera so I get the basic ideas, but I think that you guys will help me understand what just happened in that one. So I'll just release this one and dive shame later. PD out.